If you're in the guitar repair business, you might like to know that this book recently came out. It's a repair guide for Martin Guitars by Patrick DeBuro, who's a repair technician uh, who specializes in uh, repair and restoration of Martin Guitars. Um, it took him years, uh, in fact, decades, to put together this book. It's a very useful reference guide for anyone attempting to work on Martin guitars, especially vintage ones. So why don't we take it into the shop and have a look inside? The best time to buy this book was yesterday. And the second best time is today. That's actually an old Chinese proverb. So if you happen to be in the guitar repair business, I don't know what to tell you, but you really need this book. So just go out and buy it. Oh, excuse me. Guitar quackery. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I'll explain. Thanks, bye. I'm glad you guys are already taking this seriously because this viewer wants to know where to buy this book. Well, I'll just put a link in the description. How about that? Now, let me take you to the shop and show you a little bit inside this book. Right. Welcome back to Guitar Quackery. I happen to have a Martin guitar right here on the bench, and it's got some serious issues. Uh, why don't I show you? Uh, here, uh, we can see it's a, a D41. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but uh, the guitar doesn't play well. Look at this, the strings are very loose. Uh, so I'm really uh, glad that I have this book because it's gonna help me figure out how to fix this problem. Now, the guitar does have some other issues as well. Uh, this is the bridge. And as you can see, there's a slight separation on this side of the bridge. But then throughout the rest of the bridge, we have a significant bridge lift okay so i am going to remove this bridge and re-glue it now i've done it before so i don't really need this book for this particular job but there is something else that i haven't uh really done often so i want to show you what that is uh, let's uh remove the strings I'll put the capo right here. And the strings uh, are already loose, as I'm sure you've noticed. OK. Let's put the strings aside. And now let's uh, start recording so that I can place the camera inside. All right, so hopefully you can see the bridge plate. Uh, I am in fact going to put a light on the inside. Okay, and now with this feeler gauge, I will show you how, well, maybe I come from this side. It's not easy to work with all these cameras, but uh, as you can see, the bridge plate is also problematic because the glue joint is failing. Oh. This bridge plate will have to be removed. Look, okay. So, uh, hopefully you see what the problems are. And now, uh, let's have a closer look at the book. Let me uh, remove my phone from there first. Okay, stop recording. So let's have a look. Now, uh, this 
book uh, has some copyrighted materials in it. Well, in fact, everything is copyrighted in the book. So I don't want to uh, show you too much because I really don't have permission to reproduce any of the materials. But I still want to show you a little bit to give you some idea of, uh, you know, its content. All right. Here's the book. Well, uh, this is Patrick when he was young. Uh, what do we have here? Bridge Riglo, nuts. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about what's in the book. Well, here we have a, a bridge plate a removal. Uh, so I'll definitely be uh, looking at this chapter. And how to deal with truss rods. Okay. I just want to show you a little bit. And I really recommend that you uh, buy this book if you are going to work on, uh, well, in fact, on any acoustic guitars, rebuilding them. But if you're going to work on Martin guitars, I would say this book is a must. Okay, that's a neck reset. All right? Just to give you some idea. Okay, neck removal. Even the new Martin guitar, um, what is it, the CS, I forget, uh, 13. Okay, some people are having trouble with that guitar. Uh, here, how to deal with loose braces on the inside. Okay. Yeah, binding repair. Anything you want to know about fixing Martin guitars is in fact in this book. Did you by chance get a chance to, uh, you know, click that link uh, to buy this book already? Maybe? You know, I am actually legally required to disclose the fact that it is in fact an Amazon affiliate link, which means that I actually get a small commission from every purchase of this book through that link uh, at no extra cost to you. So it's a no brainer and there's still time to buy it. Thank you. Uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I am now ready for my closing arguments. Please click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to click the often neglected share button, right? Because if you share, you help this channel grow, which means I can make more videos more frequently. Also, if you wish to uh, support this work further, you can join the Guitar Quackery Patreon community. There's a link for that below as well. And there's also a link to click on uh, to buy me a coffee. It says, buy me a coffee. Uh, this way you help support my late night caffeine habit, you know, while I'm editing videos for YouTube, like this one. Uh, and you can also buy some Guitar Quackery merch. Uh, there are links below for that. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.